what is the best GSM for your t-shirt for your clothing brand? That is the question I am going to be answering in this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for clicking yet another video and welcome if you're new. My name is Taddy G and on this channel, I like to talk all things one in my clothing brand as well as dropping tips, tricks, gems and all of that good stuff. So let's talk t-shirts. Now, I made a video about hoodies and I won't lie, I think I've also got the perfect formula for the perfect t-shirt as well if you disagree with me let's talk about it in the comments i believe i have the perfect formula for the perfect t-shirt for your streetwear brand but a couple of things that you do have to bear in mind is the fact that i am based in the uk so i am catering to the uk weather i am catering to the uk style i am catering to my target audience and what i feel like they would deem as quality so when it comes to my perfect t-shirt my luxury t-shirt i am talking of a t-shirt that you are gonna want to sell to your customers for upwards of 40 pounds or $50 which I know probably feels quite steep for a t-shirt but that is why I'm creating this video today so I can tell you the different things to think about when it comes to creating this t-shirt to ensure that it is worth that price i am talking t-shirts that are on par with you know your palm angels t-shirts your essentials t-shirts i'm not just talking about like a basic primark t-shirt here i'm talking about quality so the first thing we're going to cover is of course fabric now when we're talking fabric i only want my t-shirts to be made out of 100 percent cotton similar to the hoodie 100 percent cotton is the way forward and you're looking for a single jersey type cotton and if you can you can dabble into ring sprung cotton now ring sprung cotton is incredibly soft and when i first started creating t-shirts for my clothing brand i worked with a blanks company called stanley stella so those were the blanks that i was using and they used ring sprung cotton and honestly that cotton it is so so soft and just beautiful and nice on the skin and it lasts so if you can find a cotton fabric that is ring sprung that is the route that i'm gonna need you guys to take so that is cotton covered unlike hoodies t-shirts don't really have like a range of different like faces and you know loop back and fleece back doesn't really have that it's typically just made out of single jersey if i'm not mistaken so when you're looking for the fabric for your t-shirt you're just looking for 100% cotton single jersey and ring sprung if you're lucky now let's talk about the weight of the t-shirt so weight is measured in gsm which stands for grams per square meter i'm sorry if you've watched my hoodie video this might feel a little bit repetitive but this is for people that probably haven't watched that video i wanted to make sure that i'm covering all bases so yeah gsm stands for grams per square meter and it's the unit of measurement that is used to measure the weight of several different types of fabrics including cotton now the optimal gsm that i would say for t-shirt is that 250 gsm mark so for my clothing brand i won't lie i use 300 gsm and this wasn't actually by choice story time i order i still order my fabric from this company here in the uk and they are called friend fabrics and they used to have this single jersey cotton in 250 gsm and i actually went ahead and made the samples for my t-shirts in that fabric because that's what they had at the time then when i went ahead and ordered my fabric for my bulk order i'm actually gonna film a video of the whole process of ordering fabric and send it to your manufacturer i am going to film that video very very soon but yeah when i went ahead and ordered the bulk fabric they only had the 300 gsm in stock so when i called them i was like what happened to your 250 because i liked the 250 they basically said that the majority of their clients were only going for the 300 gsm because they wanted a fabric that matched the quality of fabric of that of palm angels essentials those high-end brands so i thought okay fair enough i'm gonna just go with the 300 gsm obviously i have the sample and i have the final t-shirt and literally my preference is actually the sample with the 250 gsm there isn't that much of a difference but when you are a brand owner and when you're obsessed with what you do you do pick up those little differences that is why i am able to pick up the fact that i actually do prefer the 250 i feel like it's just a nice little steady medium it's not too thick but it's also not 
too thin you can still feel the quality and the weightiness of the t-shirt you will see for my t-shirts they are very structured because of the quality of the fabric that i use for my t-shirts so yeah going for that 250 gsm is the optimal you can go up to 300 gsm if you would like i work with 300 gsm and you can drop down to 220 gsm if you would like so the stanley stella sparker t-shirt which i used to work with is 220 gsm and that is still a stunning fabric and a lovely weighty t-shirt which i absolutely love so similar to my hoodie video i wanted to go into the small details of what i feel also makes a lovely luxury-esque t-shirt for your clothing brand please bear in mind that my t-shirts are quite boxy and oversized that's just my preference for my brand so let me grab a t-shirt for you guys so this is my naya t-shirt and it is in black so the first thing that was really important for me was to ensure that i have a nice thick crew neck on my t-shirt and that that crew neck's in a different fabric and it's that lovely like ribbed stretch fabric we just open it up stunning it is a stunning like i done a good job with these t-shirts guys like absolutely stunning and the fit is amazing i'm not gonna try it on for you because yeah i'll have to take off clothes but as you can see i have that double stitch running across the opening of the armhole and i also have that double stitch on the bottom of the t-shirt as well the type of print style that i've used is the dtg print style and as you can see see the stunning quality of the print itself my graphic designer designed this t-shirt with like shadows and a dtg print is actually able to pick up those shadows here as you can see just absolutely stunning guys and down to the very last detail which is where i sewed in my tag i sewed it in there and i made sure i went for like a unique like ribbed tag for my clothing brand i just feel like i got the formula absolutely right when it comes to creating t-shirts for my clothing brand so i just wanted to extend that formula to you guys so that you can also go away and create perfect t-shirts for your clothing brand so please let me know if this video has been helpful let's talk about it in the comments maybe you guys have worked with a better fabric or a better weight let's talk about it but yeah i really hope that this video has been helpful please guys don't forget to subscribe like this video share it with your friends um yeah i will catch you in my very next video